Late on November 22, 1911, a trio of black hand extortionists approached this railroad viaduct in Chicago's near south side. They thought they were going to make a routine pickup. What really was going to happen was Big Jim Colosimo, Chicago's leading criminal, was finally getting a stone out of his shoe. He might have been a crime boss, but he was a wealthy Italian, which made him the target of the same extortionists that were preying on Italian communities all across the country. In Chicago, on the near north side, there was a gang of black hand that operated at the corner of Oak and Cleveland. That was known as Death Corner, where some 50 bodies were dumped. On the south side was the Taylor Street area, another Italian enclave, home to another black hand gang. A little to the further east, there was the infamous levee, where Colosimo was the king. That night, instead of making another extortion payment, Johnny Torrio, recently imported muscle from New York, was waiting to make a little payback. Pasquale D'Amicio, along with Stefano and Francisco Dinello, were gunned down. Stefano was wounded and discovered crawling away from the scene. He was rushed to the hospital, but he made no statement, and his only request was Big Jim be brought to his bedside. But when he got there, he had nothing to say to the man.